or Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, not to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Krakadash. Let me give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who tell me the truth from, to, according to the Bible. Okay? And Shalom to all the brothers out there that the four corners of the earth pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity, Shalom. Okay? You know, <clears throat> this lesson is basically be on concerning the the hell topic. Of course, you see, uh, we all see in the news that, you know, Queen Elizabeth, okay, who was the Edomite of the, you know, the family line of Esau, okay, Edomite, okay, um, she uh, recently passed into the spiritual realm. Now, while we say that, okay, it's because she's uh, in the presence of the Heavenly Father right now, okay, you know. And, but people are always saying, you know what, oh, she did so much bad in the earth that, you know, she's going to hell, this, that, and third. Well, there's no such thing as uh, a burning place under the uh, under the earth called hell. All right, there's no dimension of hell um, where people are burning at, okay? This is, it's not real, okay? Hell is a condition played out on earth, okay? Hence the words, you know, the the phrase, oh, I'm, I'm catching hell, but you're you're catching affliction, okay? And we're going to get in the scriptures, um, three three specific scriptures where it tells you, okay, that hell is not a uh, a, a place that you go to, you know, for judgment, okay? <laughs> All right? This is, um, here's one of the first ones. This is the book of Jonah, chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, then Jonah prayed unto the most high Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, his power out of the fish's belly. So remember, this is the, the story of Jonah, man. He was swallowed by the fish, okay, because he didn't want to um, go to Nineveh to, to um, prophesy, okay? So the Lord had him get swallowed by a fish, all right? And mind you, he's in the, fi the belly of this fish. It says what? And said, I cried by reason of my affliction, Okay, what, what, his affliction, all right, his what, condition, his, his, he's catching hell. Now, let's get this definition of word affliction. Affliction. All right, affliction is a noun from the 1300s. It says misery, okay? All right, sorrow, pain, distress. Okay, especially uh it says especially self afflicted, um pain, uh in the religious uh sense it says to see um yeah, so yeah, that's basically what it is. Misery, sorrow, pain, and distress. Okay. You know, so this is this is what affliction is, okay? All right. Now he said what? When you say that you're catching hell, well, that means what you're catching you you you're you're basically in in misery, okay? You're in sorrows, you're in pain, you're in you're in distress, right? It says, go back. It's Jonah two and two it says, and and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto Yahweh, okay, the heavenly Father, all right. It says, and he heard me out of the belly of hell. I cried. Now remember, he said he's what he was in the fish. He was in the fish's belly. But then he said, well, out of the belly of hell. Hell is a condition played out on earth. Hell was his affliction. All right. His sorrow, his 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 uh misery. OK, out of the belly of hell, out of the belly of the fish. OK, his condition that he was in. All right. It says, and thou heardest my voice. All right. All right, <laughs> so what this is it's showing it's showing you that what Jonah really wasn't in hell, okay? He was in the fish. This is a condition played out on earth. Now, also, I want to get this right. Let's see, because scriptures tell you that when you die, or so to speak, when you die, that you're uh. That you, it's not you don't go to a place for judgment. <laughs> you don't go to a place for judgment. Um, you know to burn somewhere. Okay, matter of fact, here it is. Um, let's see. Yep, here it is. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, 
chapter three, verse seven, uh, verse 16. It says, and moreover, I saw under the sun, the place of judgment. Now, what's under the sun? The earth. OK, so the earth is the place of judgment. It's where spirits are, you know, which, you know, inhabits your body, your soul, your spirit inhabits your body. It's where spirits are what placed for judgment. It says that wickedness was there. So at this place of judgment, wickedness is going to be there. And what? And the place of and the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. OK, you know, so what you're going to have wickedness going on. You're going to have righteousness going on in this place. OK, uh, according to the, the Christian theology, there's only what, what wicked souls in hell. But remember, this place of judgment, okay, all right, where real judgment actually plays out, all right, both wickedness and righteousness was there, okay, all right? So what? It's showing you that what? The place of judgment where you get judged at is actually the earth, okay? And hell is a condition played out on earth, all right? All right, yeah, how about Shema Shai then make no place to where you, you burn for eternity, man, okay? All right, it's, it's a that's a it's a lie. Okay, let's get this. This is a book of um. Let me see. It's a book of Psalms, chapter thirty, I believe it's thirty nine. Yep, thirty nine, and so like here. Yep, yep, 39, I'm starting at verse 7. It says, Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Because what the heavenly father, there was only begotten son, okay? You know, the heavenly father's spirit is in everything, okay? And everywhere. It says, Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? Because the presence of the Lord is everywhere, okay? All right, but these Christians, they believe that what? Once you go to hell, the, the Lord doesn't reside in hell and his spirit is not down there. It's all but evil spirits and, you know, Satan with a pitchfork and, and with a, a, a spike tail and all that madness, man. Okay. It says what? If I ascend up into heaven, okay, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Okay. So what if if you will go to the <laughs> if you to fly in the plane, guess what? The heavenly father is there. Okay. If you to dig your you said dig your bed in hell, okay. Of which another word for hell is um the grave, okay? Meaning what? If you were to dig into the ground and 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 you know, the Lord is still there. You can't hide from the Lord, okay? You know? So it's showing you the what? Again, you know. Hell is two things, a condition played out on earth or just means death. You know, that's all it means that literally there's, there's literally what hell means. That's all it means. OK. All right. It doesn't mean nothing else than that. OK. Not no place where you burn for eternity. That's it's, that's madness. OK. And the last scripture I want to get um, sticks like it. I have it right here is Revelation six and eight. There we go. All right. Just to prove, you know, that what? Hell is a condition played out. OK. You know, how can hell uh, 1668? There we go. How can hell be a, a place that you uh, extra dimension that you go to if this happens? Let's look at this. Right. This is a uh, revelation six and eight. It says, and I it says, and I looked and behold a pale horse. OK. All right. It says what? And his name that sat upon this was death. So this this pale horse was death and a horse represents power. So, you know, death had power, you know, you know, had a certain power that the Lord gave him. man. OK. All right. This the death is a spirit. It says and hell followed with him. Now, if if, <laughs> if hell is a, a place under the under the uh, under the ground where you burn at for eternity or uh, extra dimension where you where you burn at for eternity eternity how is how is hell following him okay if death is doing his work in the earth how is hell following him behind him make that make sense okay it says and power was given unto them over the fourth kind of the earth to kill with sword 
and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. So, it, it, <laughs> hey, you know, it's in the spirit because what that that's gonna be happening over here in America, man. Okay, this 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 death, you know, it's a death and what in hell followed with him. So not only just death, but what a condition played out on earth, misery. Okay, now let's get this. I'm gonna I'm gonna um. See what this says real fast. Let's see where the word originally comes from. Um, There we go. Yep. Yep. It says um in the New Testament it says in um in the King James KJV for Old Testament Hebrew uh Sha'ol and New Testament Greek Hades it says uh or uh any all right it says use figuratively okay Hell is used what figuratively, it's not literal, okay? For what state of misery, any bad experience, okay? All right, it's plain and simple, man. That's where it comes from, okay? Hebrew word, I believe that's Sha'al, okay? Um, in, in the New Testament Greek, uh, any, okay, which is used figuratively. For state of misery, the water you held by Shemel Shai, that's exactly what it means, okay? So what, death and the state of misery or hell followed him, man, okay? <laughs> Showing you that what? The scriptures, you know, it lets you know, man, because what the scriptures is written, uh, especially in the King James Version, okay? You have the Old Testament, which is in the Hebrew, okay? The Lashon Kodash, all right? And the New Testament was in, is uh, translated to the to the Greek, Okay, all right. So what you know the Greek, the Latin, all that. So these are the words that you you would find in the Greek, all right. Hades and Gieni, all right, which means a state of misery or a bad experience. So what are these Christians talking about? Okay, what are these Christians talking about? Matter of fact, let's look up that uh, that scripture and the blue letter, just to further further the point. All right. Ain't no damn place under 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 the ground where you where you burn for eternity, man. That's that's a fairy tale, a fallacy. Let's see, let's get this. Right? Let's look up the word for what? For um for hell. His name was Death and what? Hell, right? Here it is. Is G eighty six okay? G eighty six looks like it says Hades, right? G eighty six Strong's G eighty six Hades 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 Thayer's lexicon Hades Hades Yep, it's Hades. Now let's click on that Hades, okay? Uh. Uh, let's see. Yep, it says on um, here's another. It says a later use of this word means to what? The grave, okay? Death. That's another thing that the uh the uh the word uh Hades or hell means just death, okay? It says in the in biblical Greek uh associated with uh God. See, the Greeks used to associate it with their gods, man, which, you know, are nothing but idols and, you know, fairy tales and fallacies. Let's see. Um, oh, here's, yep. It says, uh, it says what? The last part, it says what? In a very uncomfortable place, okay? A very uncomfortable place. That's exactly what hell is. A, a hellish condition is what? A place of misery, Okay. And what that, hey man, <laughs> hell is a condition played out on earth, a condition of misery played out on earth, man. Okay, so what that that debunks 
that whole, um, you know, burning in, in a place, you know, underground and in, in another dimension, all that madness, man. Okay. Where demons and fallen angels reside. Nah, bro. The scripture doesn't say nothing about that. OK, you need to look up words and see what the meaning of words are to understand what's going on in the scriptures. man. OK. All right. And really, the first scripture that we got, Jonah 2 and 2, killed it off rip. OK. All right. The belly of hell was what? The affliction that he was in, in the fish's belly. OK. All right. So it shows you that what hell is in condition played out on earth. All right. So I just want to get that in spirit. If you can't get that, then, you know, I don't know. You know, hey, man, the, the Lord just didn't want you to get it at the end of the day. OK, but to the hopeful elect, hopefully this is edifying, you know, unto the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I to give all praises, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Let it get double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom.